Hey guys, YT1904 here again. I was supposed to upload this video Monday, um, but my sister was using the camera like the entire day and I couldn't upload it, so I decided to do a retake of it just because uh, I missed a few things out as well. This video is going to be about the videos that I'm going to be doing in the future, um, like in about a year or so. So, um, yeah. Now, you might have noticed in that why I've been away for so long or whatever the hell I called it. That video, I said something about a stop motion. Well, that is off as well because, well, it takes too bloody long to make one episode if I want to make it, you know, properly and not just make it so every five seconds they move or something. Um, yeah, it takes too long. It's too much effort. Um, I'm a lazy fat shit, so, you know. Uh, also, I'm in year nine and this is the most important year. I'm not sure about if it's different in America or Canada or something. But um, over here... Um, job um, applications and stuff. They look at your year 9 and year 10 reports and stuff. So if you do um, really good, you know, in year 9, you're more likely to get the job. So, um, yeah, that's why I want to be, I want to do really well in uh, year 9. Um, so, yeah. Also, if I get all A's and B's, I get a free glass of beer. So, you know. Yeah, so that's been off. Uh, what is replacing it, though, is something that's a lot more easier and it looks better. It's a machinima. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be on Halo Ridge, like the the game, and it's gonna have like 15 seconds of Black Ops footage. I'm not sure on that yet because I'm not sure how to integrate it into the um, whole series. It's on the Halo Ridge game for like countless reasons. Theatre mode is a lot easier. You can go up down without having to look up and go up like Call of Duty's theatre mode. Although Call of Duty Black Ops theater mode is a lot better with the slow motion because it's not like jumpy like that, it's like smooth. It looks really good. Um, also, weapon lowering. In Black Ops, you talk to, if you don't computer generate them, like that Relevation, Revelation series on Machinima from Call of Duty is, then you're gonna look like, yeah, hey, how you doing? Yeah, that's good. Have you met my girlfriend? <laughs> oh, shit! So it looks better and you've got less chance of killing anyone, so that's a thumbs up. Also because there's a, it's a lot easier, the customization, the whole forge editing th things, the, you know, you can spawn as whatever you want, you can wear whatever you want. I mean, I know you can do that in Black Ops, but you only have a choice of like five different character things for each, um, you know, uh, group, like five different SOGs, five different... NVA. Anyway, yeah, I'll be doing that. Um, now, it's going to be set in two seasons. One of them is going to be like before Reach gets invaded, and the second one is going to be when Reach gets invaded. So it's pretty much like a big chunk of like one thing and a chunk of another thing, but like it's one thing, but it's split. Um, yeah, I'm only going to be doing it in two seasons because that seems easier. Um, and it'll be up um, in the next year because I need a shitload of stuff. Like, first of all, I need a decent capture card, like a HD PVR. My Dazzle makes everything look like shit. I'm not using it. It doesn't upload in HD, and HD makes the world go round. I also need um, Sony Vegas. I mean, you can do everything in that, like... I was watching this video where um, there was this guy on that Halo 3 map, the pit or something, and he was where the sword spawns, and like there was this TV, this blue screen thing, but he cut it out and like put in one of his own videos. I so need that. Like, whoa. And like you can make your videos, you know, you've got so many like effects for your videos. I mean, Studio 11 is good for basic video editing, but Jesus Christ, it's got nothing. Like it has Hollywood effects and it's all this crappy you know, two dollar effects and stuff. Um, I also need those explosion effects. I don't know where you buy them, but they're like two dollars each or something, so that's pretty good. Um, I might need Adobe After Effects, I doubt it, but I might. Um, I also need to finish all my forge maps. I've got one, and I need about seven or something, and I haven't even finished the first one, and that's Headquarters. It looks like a big mush at the moment. Because it's just a bunch of buildings and a bunch of bridges together and a couple of sniper towers. But, um, yeah, it's on that place where that, on Forge World, where that Halo 1 map was remade. Bloodlust or something. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's there, and it looks like a mess at the moment, but I'm slowly adding stuff, you know, every time I go on Forge and do that, I add at least one thing, so, you know, I'm happy first. It follows the story of two Spartan 3s that have just become Spartan 3s, and they get put into the same group. I'm not sure what to call the group, either, like, I'm thinking of something to do with Omega, or, you know, something that doesn't sound too homosexual. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so, um, I'm trying to think of a name. If any of you guys have, a, you know, a good name that you think would do for a uh, squad or a team for my series, put your comment down below, um, and I will put your YouTube username and, like, you know, click on this YouTube username for whatever videos you do or something, and I'll have it in an annotation on this video and my next video. So, yeah, um, thanks for all the help. Also, um... I'm gonna have one friend, maybe two friends helping me out. <laughs> That's so funny. I have no friends. And I'm gonna have three alternate endings. The main ending's gonna, like, this series is gonna be serious. It's not gonna be comedy or anything. It's gonna be serious. Um, there might be some comedy in there, like some, you know, related stuff. Like, you know, in, um,. Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, how uh, they shared the same joke with, um, what's his name, Simon Pegg and, um, uh, Jack Frost or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, they did the same joke with, what's the matter, Danny, can't you jump a fence or something, and he jumps the fence, and then one time in, like, Shaun of the Dead, he completely destroys the fence, and Hot Fuzz, he does all these ninja moves. It's kind of like that, except it relates to Halo, the Halo community, so, um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret. <laughs> also, I picked up a um, Crisis Maximum Edition at uh, EB Games. Now, this isn't the real Maximum Edition, I guess, because it's, it's not like... It is the real one, but it's the EA Valley Games version because it's, you know... The discs are, you know, they look different. They're, they're just orange. So, uh, yeah, I got that. I've installed Crisis and Crisis Warhead, and I started playing Crisis 1, and then something screwed up with it, and it destroyed my profile. I was only an hour into it, and I got to where I was in about 30 minutes. So, um, yeah, and then I installed Crisis Warhead and realized that was after Crisis, and I'm like, oh crap, I don't want to spoil anything. So I've got it sitting there, I've done the first part, and I'm still up to um, Crisis 1. So, yeah, hopefully I'll finish it before Crisis 2 comes out. Also, um, another thing. Crisis 2 coming out. I'm not sure whether to get it on the PC or the Xbox. You know, Xbox so I can play with my friends or PC for the better graphics and the better whole dedicated servers and shit. Um, what do you think you would do? Like, would you get it on a console or would you get it on a PC? Like, if you could play with your friends on the console or you just wanted the better graphics for the PC. Because I'm torn. I really have no idea. So, yeah, thanks for all the help. Um, so, yeah, expect a review from this. Um, it is incredible, because my, com my computer's, like, powerful. It's got some i7 quad-core, I think. I I'm not a computer nerd. Don't ask me this stuff. It's 8 gigabyte RAM, and that's about all I know. Um, i7, 8 gigabyte RAM, you know, that's good. And it's a 17-inch screen, and it just looks amazing. Like, I've got it on the third highest, um, pixel, so it's, like, 1280 by 720 because anything other than that, it, like, lags it out, but still, it looks amazing. Uh, yeah, so, um, mm, so thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and for more walkthroughs, machinimas, shorts, and reviews, don't forget to click the subscribe button up there. Or well, there, I'm still not used to this, shut up. The subscribe button, click it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, um, yeah, and I'll upload some more videos in the future. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.